Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Maddie and today we are going to be talking about my current favorite houseplants and some that I'm actually thinking about decluttering from my collection because they're either no longer sparking joy or struggling a little bit or for whatever reason. But I figure we just go ahead and get started and I will start off with the ones that are my current favorites. And we're actually sitting right next to one of them right now. And this is my Pilea peperomioides. And mine grows very weirdly. As you can see, it all grows on one side. And that's because um, I tried for a while to be really good about rotating it. And when I was doing that, we were in a constant battle of growing one leaf, dropping one leaf kind of idea. So then I finally was like, you know what? I'm not gonna touch it anymore. You're gonna look the way that you look. And now it finally is very, very happy. And I've had this plant for oh, almost two years now. And it's just now finally starting to put off babies for me. So there's actually one, two, three, four, five, six babies in the pot. Let me see if I can show you. Do you see some of the babies? Focus on the plant, not on me. <laughs> so you can see some of the babies in there. Some of them are really hard to see unless you have a specific angle. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna leave the babies in there for a while and maybe eventually take them out, pot them up separately, give them away to people. It is called a friendship plant. I don't know, but I love the way that it is looking right now and I love how big these older leaves are and it's still continuing to put off new leaves even in the winter. And the new growth is very, very dense. It's not quite as widely spaced on the stalk as the older growth is, so that's exciting. My next current favorite is this one that you can just barely see poking into the frame. I don't think I'll be able to hold it all in the frame at once. This is one of my angel wing begonias. I don't know what kind this is. It was unlabeled when I bought it from the store. It just said angel wing, angel wing begonia. And as you can see, it is very, very tall. <laughs> this thing that it's actually on, this is a, a stake from like an orchid. This is an arrow shaft from like archery that my roommate has that he just didn't really need anymore. And there's also a third plant right here that is just getting going. So I will actually need to put another stake in here to kind of keep it going. And there's another one coming up in the back right there. So this thing is just going off. It is so, so happy. It has put off so much growth for me. I think I got it maybe in February of last year. So this is a, a year of growth and I love it so much. I really want to cut it so that I can, I don't know. I want to cut it, but I don't want to cut it because I really want to see like how tall it can get. I think it would be really comedic if it were in this tiny little pot and it was like six feet tall and just had a really long stake that it was climbing up, but it's so not needy. It didn't really do like there's a little bit of crisping on some of the leaf tips from possible underwatering either while I was in Ecuador or just during the winter but I love the silver I, I don't know I love it so much and I love the, how the petioles come in kind of pink and it just is so so easy it's one of my easiest plants to care for and one of the fastest growing and it's actually what really got me into angel wing begonias because I have another one that's one of my current favorites and that is this big guy right here. Again, I have no idea what kind of begonia it is, but here is an up close at the leaves. As they have gotten more mature, or I guess just as the, their newer leaves, the backs of them are quite red, which is really beautiful. And it is going off in so many places. This, when I bought, when I got it, it was just this main stalk. And I think it had like, two or three leaves on it. And since then it's shot off this stalk as well as secondary stalks from the main one. So like right here, this one is growing. This leaf came out and there's another one getting ready to, and then up here, there's a lot of ac action going on. But this right here is its newest leaf that is currently unfurling. And this one again, so, so easy. I've never had like any crisping really with it or any issues. Um, I water it honestly, maybe like every 10 days or so. Not super needy. It doesn't have very high light. It sits at the bottom of one of my shelves. And I don't know, I just love it so much. The silver, the polka dots. 
don't know. They're, this one and this one over here are very similar. This is just like the mini baby version and this is the big one. So this is like Dr. Evil and this is mini me over here. It's kind of what it feels like. My next favorite is one that I just talked about in a recent video. Um, one of my plant chores videos and that is my staghorn fern I just repotted it into this bigger pot today but it's been doing so so well so fingers crossed it continues to do well in this bigger pot but it's got some beautiful shields stop focusing on my face shields in here and then it's also getting the more mature fronds that look like like the elk horns like a stag um as well as these really long beautiful like you can really see the texture on this leaf especially when you like hold it up to the light and you kind of see the light coming through it it's just so so beautiful and I'm so proud of how it looks I grew it from a very tiny little thing when it was maybe just this one leaf and there were no shields on it um, and I love it so much I'm really happy that I decided to buy the small one and grow it myself rather than buying the big one so hopefully it continues to do well in this little terracotta pot and then my last favorite that I'm going to talk about, yeah, my last one, is this, which is my Philodendron Silver Sword, and it is pushing out a new leaf, which is one of the reasons it's a favorite right now. It's doing that little, like, Cinderella foot slipper thing that Philodendrons do, though, so I've been misting it every day, trying to make sure that it doesn't snap its own neck. I don't know. I might have to go in there with, like, a Q-tip or something and see what I can do to help free it. But I just potted this up a few videos ago, and I just love the like color of these silver leaves. And Wild Fern was talking about her love of philodendron silver sword in a recent video, and I just can't wait to get those big mature leaves. This is one that I'll probably end up putting on a moss pole or something like that, because um, I do want to see those big mature leaves. But I'll just let it get a little bit more established before that happens. So those are all my current favorites. And now to talk about ones that I am going to be decluttering, or I think I'm going to be decluttering. Um, and up first is this little shamrock. Um, it's actually in decent shape. I honestly need to top off the pot and put more soil in there. But the main reason that I'm thinking of decluttering this is that I have purple oxalis that I prefer the look of, and it's just doing a lot better. Like it's a much fuller plant. Um, when I've put this, I put this and taken it out of dormancy maybe three times and each time I end up with fewer and fewer crumbs that still, um, will grow plants and that might just be due to my technique or whatever. I don't, I don't really know, but we've got some flowers coming in right here and I do appreciate that about this plant is that it does put out those cute little flowers, um, but I just think I'm ready to part ways with this one and it does grow quite large leaves um, which I do appreciate but like I said I just prefer my purple one and my purple one's doing a lot better. The cool thing about the green one though is that the back of the leaves are purple so that's always fun but I think this is probably going to be parting ways especially now that like St. Patrick's Day is coming up I'm sure someone would be lo loving to have that. Um, one of my next ones that I'm kind of maybe thinking about parting ways with it's actually this, oh gosh, <laughs> this, which is my Dracaena Song of India. And I got this plant. This is one of my first plants that I got. And I got it at the same time as this one back here, my Philodendron Lemon Lime. And I go back and forth with getting rid of this one. It's so, so low maintenance. It's probably my lowest maintenance plant that I have, even out of my succulents and stuff. Um, and it doesn't like take up that much care it just sits on the floor it's not getting that great of light that's probably why there's not a whole whole lot of growth but everything so you can see this big space in the plant from here to here so this is about how tall it was when i got it and then everything from here up is i think pretty new um was me and the leaves kind of got smaller and then got bigger again but i don't know it just like isn't that interesting to me and I think one of the main reasons I'm holding on to it is for like that sentimental value. And also I think it would be kind of cool to get this to be like a massive tree someday and just be like, yeah, I got that when I was in college. Like the idea of that is really appealing to me, but I don't have a whole lot of like care for this plant itself. Like, I don't know. I'm just not, the, the leaves are really beautiful. When you look at them, they do kind of have a very beautiful painted streaked appearance, but 
I don't know, I just think it might be time to get rid of it. Its name is Terrence. So I'm sorry, Terrence, but your time might be short in this household. I don't know. Uh, one of my next ones that I'm parting ways with most likely is this, which is my mother, one of my mother of thousands. I have so many of them. And this one's just not doing super hot. It probably needs to be separated, um, but there are some little babies coming off of this leaf, if it will focus. Yeah, so right up here, here are where the babies are. Um, maybe you can see them better on the back. Come on. There you go, you can see the babies. Um, I have so many of these, and I just, I don't know probably gonna get rid of it. Biggest thing actually is just the fact that I'd like to have the terracotta back, but I think what I'm gonna end up doing with these plants is probably putting them up on Facebook Marketplace for like $10 for the bundle, because I think I'd probably have a hard time selling them off individually. Um, but anyway, next is this, which is, it's actually a ficus ruby cutting. Um, it looks like a Teneki right now because there's not a lot of red coming in. Um, so maybe it has reverted back to a Teneke. I don't really know the genetics of all that, but this is a little piece that I got from my sister's plant when she bought hers. And I think the main reason I'm keeping it at this point is because she did give it to me. And at one point it was on my wish list, but I don't know. I mean, it, it is really beautiful. I do love these leaves, but I had a burgundy rubber plant at one point and we just didn't get along well so I ended up selling that one and this one has put off these two leaves for me in the entire year and a half, year and eight months or so that I've had it and I don't know I'm just kind of like eh, eh. One of the main reasons I think of hold holding on to it is because it was for my sister. Up next is this which desperately needs to be watered and it has two things in it. So this is a part of a rat tail cactus that I have and it broke off when I was repotting it so I just threw it in here and you can see where it was and then where it started regrowing it started getting chunkier because it was next to a window again and then this is some sort of random succulent that I don't know what it is. It needs to be watered though um, I can tell because the succulent looks a little bit white but I'm just like eh I don't know I don't even know what kind of succulent this is I don't really care for it that much. I just kind of have it in here. It was free from a, a, an acquaintance and I was just like, yeah, I guess I'll take it. I didn't ask for it. They were just like, I got you this. And yeah, ah, probably gonna get rid of that one. And then I have a spider plant. This is actually the first spider plant that I got and I got this at the same time as I got the Pe Pelea peperomioides from Craigslist. And it's just not doing that hot. I have a couple of spider plants that are doing really, really well. And this one's just never done that amazing. I think part of the reason is I just have it too far away from the window. But I figure I could put this in a bundle and other people would be happy to have it. Um, so not much to say. I do like that it's in this. I, this is actually a nut container from Costco that I chopped the top off of and drilled some holes in and I do like having plants like in these clear containers because you can kind of see the roots growing. I don't know if you can see some of the roots down there um but yeah I'm just kind of like eh about that. And then the last one that I'm thinking of getting rid of oh is very very moldy. Okay gotta do something about that. This is a snake plant that I got in a plant exchange that is covered in mold in the soil. Um, so I think it's probably just moldy because it's not close enough to the window to get light. But yeah, I just am not honestly that into snake plants anymore. I was for a little bit. They are really nice because they are quite low maintenance, but you kind of have to treat them like a succulent if you want them to grow quickly. So you have to have them near like really bright light and everything. And I'm just like not that, I don't know. Like, I got it from the plant exchange thinking it was going to get me back into snake plants and then instead it's actually just made me realize that I'm really not a snake plant person. So I think what I'm going to probably end up doing, like I said, is take these one, two, three, four, five, six plants and probably just bundle them all for like 10, 20, 10 or 12 bucks on Facebook marketplace and see if someone wants to take them all. Um, but yeah, that is it for today's video. My current favorites and I guess least favorites of my plant collection. So let me know down below what your top favorite is and then if there's any in your collection that you've been thinking about decluttering. And if you are thinking about decluttering, I say go for it. 
I think it's probably pretty unlikely that you would regret it. But yeah, so thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.